Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Um, US 30 is actually closed up above potential resistance at 16,598 uh, as the market still cheers good news from West Texas Instruments and obviously still digesting the Apple figures. Uh, a lot of um, earnings have come out as a bit of a mixed bag, but some of the major firms out there, I'm talking about obviously IBM, a lot of the other major firms seem to be doing okay in the backdrop of uh, this kind of macroeconomic uncertainty that we've seen. Uh, however, there's still quite big question marks around the Fed and what they're, um, what constitutes a good result for them, um, because there are some commentators out there that feel that the Fed can only disappoint going forward. So obviously a lot of pressure uh, on those guys going forward. But incidentally, the two levels you want to be aware of from the US 30, 16.598 and 16.738. And those are the next two potential support and resistance levels. So moving forward, I should also point out that a lot of the technicals, you've got a crossover in the MACD as well. So there's a lot of technical factors there that are supporting uh, the US 30 in the very short term. Um, you've got that same crossover in the MACD here on the UK 100. Uh, and obviously we have already had the positive signals to uh, to buy on the slow stochastic and RSI. Uh, obviously a lot of ground to make up, so we don't necessarily expect that to all happen in one day, but we closed towards the top end of the range yesterday. We've drifted slightly lower this morning and looking at 63.90 as a potential support, eyeing up the next potential resistance at 64.63. Then looking at Japan 225, I'm looking at dollar yen, it's still grinding up slowly there. Uh, US 30, uh, Japan 225 making up for yesterday's uh, losses and then some a little bit. 49.77 as potential support, next potential resistance 15.488, almost a crossover in the MACD and a buying signal and slow stochastic. So certainly the technicals running into today's US CPI data, which will be very, very keenly watched for what the Fed is actually going to do next regarding interest rates. Um, and that's at 130, but we'll come back to that in a second. So looking at dollar yen, uh, 107 spot 36 will be potential resistance. Um, the slow stochastic's got a signal to buy. RSI is neutral, whereas the MACD is hovering around about that zero line. So uh, it does look to be 107 spot 36 will be a, a strategic level and it has struggled and failed to break through it before. So the question will be, will US CPI figures today be strong enough to help it push through? And bearing in mind they are, they are expecting, um, you can see the data down here, uh, the forecasts that they've got aren't exactly uh, massively strong, um, but a weak figure here would probably cause the US dollar to tumble and uh, the US markets take a bit of a knock again. So moving on to crude oil West Texas, $84 once again uh, remains um, a tough sell for uh, crude traders, um, and today is no different. Uh, and today is Wednesday. So normally you've actually got uh, no, you've got crude oil inventories, but that must be fast forwarding onto Thursday for now. Um, but all the data there uh, in regards to um, West Texas is kind of pointing to excess um, supply. We need uh, China to not slow down quite so fast. Uh, otherwise, long-term fundamentals in West Texas crude will always be quite negative. And uh, there's been a new report coming out from um, from Saudi Arabia that they're willing to accept lower prices in order to gain additional market share versus some of the other OPEC regions. So rather than defend their um, their slice with higher prices uh, by cutting back supply, um, they're quite happy to uh, have oil be cheap, uh, make more deals, and grab more market share. So that's probably telling about why crude oil remains at such a low level and the backdrop of um, so many pro-oil aspects, especially in the Middle East. So gold still continues to try and push on higher. We actually touched the 55 period at SMA yesterday. We we're unable to break through. 1267 still feels like there's a potential resistance, um, but there seems to be a little bit less uncertainty in the markets today. Uh, but then check out US CPI. Uh, you know, US earnings continue to disappoint. US CPI comes in weaker than expected. You know, all bets are off again. But if earnings um, continue to do well in some of the big bellwether stocks, and CPI comes out much better than expected. Um, expect gold to maybe take a bit of a tumble. So finishing up with Euro dollar, Euro dollar came off uh, a little bit further yesterday on the back of the news that the ECB are looking to do a corporate buy, uh, bond buying program as early as December to help support Eurozone um, companies and to shore up some of their balance sheets to uh, help them ensure that they remain uh, productive. And uh, that has caused the euro dollar to, to slide ever so slightly. Obviously, a little bit of dollar strength as well, and it doesn't hurt. Uh, but we are now trading below one spot 27.46, eyeing up 126.61 as the next potential support. And we are bouncing around that 21 period SMA. 
with the other technicals kind of just floating around in neutral territory. Finishing up with GBP, uh, 21 period SMA uh, looks elusive, again unable to break and close above it. We are in the middle of two ranges, probably more like that, I'm, I'm not sure who's going to get rid of that level just now. One spot 59.17 is potential support, one spot 62.65 potential resistance and we've still got this pattern of consolidation and curvature around here uh, which might be uh, a, a base for a springboard move higher should the sterling end up recouping some of his losses. So as we mentioned CPI due to date 130, make sure you've got your reoccurring alert set for that and we fast forward on the Thursday we've got Chinese PMI and uh, UK retail sales, US jobless claims, which is fairly important, uh, especially for Euro dollar traders. And then we've got Eurozone um, CPI data as well. Once again, if you're a Euro dollar trader, pretty much essential. Uh, make sure you keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.